Well, Nigel seems to be enjoying himself. Oh no, there's another old naked man over here. What is with all these old naked men? Hello there, people of the internet. I'm the Gaming Lemon. Welcome back to The Sims 4 with Nigel Thornbury. Oh my goodness, what bastard. What devilish bastard has knocked this over. Okay, Nigel, come on, let's pick up. Let's get the day started. Pick that up, and then we'll file a report to the police. What's it, you? I think it was him. Look at him. He looks shady. He looks vicious. He looks like the sort of guy that knocks over people's bins. But today, people of the internet, I have decided it is time for the big step. It is time that Nigel ups his game and asks a big question to Rhiannon if she's going to marry him. What are you doing on there? So let's just start up with some friendly stuff, some friendly chatting up. You know how Nigel does. You know, we don't need to give Nigel tips. He knows what he's doing. Ah, Camus. <laughs> Canus? What's Canus? <laughs> Alright, let's get you some breakfast. Can we get not can we get Rhiannon to uh, make us breakfast? Okay, actually, first what I want to do is I want Nigel to write another book. Can I at least start one if I can figure out how to do that. Uh, here we go. Write, write to genre book. Uh, another children's book. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, what should we name this one, Nigel? When can we write adults' books? I don't like writing children's books. Tigers don't take naps. Yes, they do! That's a fucking lie. You are a worthless piece of shit. You will achieve nothing. All right, I think that's a good children's book. Could probably be turned into a film. Where's Reunion? Is she gone? God damn it, she's gone. We lost her. So maybe we could get off of uh, Bill Gates here. Oh, actually, no, he's not in the mood. Or this guy. Hi, how are you? That for Nigel is in a happy relationship. Why is it that every guy that Nigel meets has a mild interest of doing woohoo stuff with him? Why isn't he wearing anything first off? What? What? Are the no, that's not funny anymore. Well, it's nice that you made a new friend, Nigel, but... Oh, oh, okay. Or maybe a new romantic interest, but you need to finish all your stuff first. Come on, let's make you some eggs. All right, Nigel is multitasking. He's got some chips. Uh, that's nice, and he can talk to Jared as well. But we need to sort out a plan, Nigel, so... But I'm thinking it's about 11 a.m. now. We invite Rhiannon over. You two get along well, have some drinks. You know, it's all fine and dandy. Then you start to get flirty with her. She gets in the mood and she's all romantic. Because you, your bar is already up for her on the romantic side. And then you pop the big question. And then we hope it's all right. We hope it's good. We can only wait and find out. Well, Nigel seems to be enjoying himself. Oh, no, there's another old naked man over here. What is with all these old naked men? <laughs> Okay, that should have set the mood. Uh, wait, is that a full relationship bar? That is. Oh, okay, this is good. This is very nice. Propose? What? We could do that already? Wait, we need to find a romantic place to propose. Here we go, on the couch. This seems right. Oh, here we go. The big question. The propose option. It's done. It's done. Let's see what Nigel's gonna do. Come on, Nigel. You can't mess this up. Oh my god! She said yes! She said yes, Nigel! Nigel, you bastard! You did it! Nice one! Go, go do your stuff! Go to the bed or whatever! Would you guys believe it? Would you guys ever see the day that this guy got engaged? Not only engaged, but engaged to someone that doesn't look like a wet sock. Wow. Wait, she's going? You're going? We just got engaged! Oh, she left you already, Nigel. She's had enough. Well, guys, honestly, I didn't think it would be as simple as that, but it is Sims. I don't know what I was expecting. Nigel, you have done your goal, because our goal was to get married to someone with Nigel. But I, di I didn't think it would be so easy, but you finally done it. Good job, Nigel. Wait, no, wait, no, we should ask to move in with her. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's invite her over again. Well, answer the door. Nigel, answer the door. Okay, you know what, fine, I'll answer it. Here we go, ask to move in. Come on, you wouldn't say no to your fiance about moving in, so we don't need to prepare it. We don't need to warm it up, just go in and ask. This is like the most awkward conversation ever. How can they see each other like that? Oh, but it's done, it is done, holy crap. They have done, they've moved in. It's, it's going too quick, guys. It is going quick. Click OK to manage the household split and merge, okay? Oh, interesting. Well, guys. It is done. The deed is done. I have finally done it. Well, Nigel did it, but I enabled him to do it. So now we can control both of the Sims. Oh, this is strange. It's going to get a little difficult now. But we did steal all our money. <laughs> Yay, now we can spend on useless shit. It is a magical night. Look at those two lovebirds. No, how cute. 
What job has Rhiannon got? Has she even got a job? Oh, she's got quite a few enemies, actually. Ava, George, Nina. Wait, she's quite good friends with Shabalaba, actually. Wait, what? 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 She's going out with Slim Shady. Oh, my God. No way. Okay, this is a secret. She hasn't told Nigel yet. Look. Lovebirds. They're lovebirds. This needs to stop right now. Oh my god, it's all pouring out. We, how could we get engaged to someone who's going out with Slim Shady who lives over here? Oh, drama, drama, drama. Right, Nigel, I think we both know what needs to be done. We need to kill Slim Shady. Excellent. I have it all set up. Right, so what are we going to do now? The infamous Slim Shady, our friend, our friend he thought we could trust is sleeping with Nigel's fiance. This can't happen. Not on Nigel's watch, and the only way to get bitter sweet revenge is to kill him. But we are going to give him a chance to let him confess to Rhiannon tomorrow. We are going to go to Slim Shady's house, have a talk with him, you know, have a chat. But if it doesn't go as planned, and he doesn't confess, then we're going to have to slit his throat. Good morning there, Nigel. What you got brewing? French toast. Oh, well, seems ambitious, but okay, we can do that. Right, so with this 25 grand that we now have from Rhiannon, we are going to get rid of this shoity TV and we are actually going to buy Nigel a good TV because he deserves one. Alright, there we go. Look at that fancy TV. Is it good there? Hmm. Actually, yeah, okay, that's alright. Looks a bit odd, but look at that TV. Oh my god. Well, you've earned that. Well, it was, it was, <laughs> it wasn't with Nigel's money, but I'm sure she won't mind. Right, now once you get finished your French toast, have a shower, then we'll get to the good deed of the day. Which is finding out what is going on between Slim and Rhiannon. Oh god, let's see if we can spy on him. Where's he hiding? And you know, we'll have another grave to our collection. Here's Chelsea. Soon there will be Slim next to each other. Then maybe their eternal souls can get on with one another. Jesus, all these ghosts are going to be partying up in this house soon. Are you going to eat that or what? Right, so it's a good idea that I think that Rhiannon is the one that does all the housework while Nigel does all his mischief. Uh, she could actually, she doesn't have a job, so I was thinking she could either write books as well as Nigel, or she could paint, or she could have an actual job. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Leave a comment let me know what you think, and we'll see. But Nigel is about done, so let's go over to the shady household and ask what's good. Okay, apparently we've lost power to the house. Um... We forgot to pay bills, but that is of least concern right now. Oh, because here he is. Shady, does he look a little nervous? No, he looks all right. Got nothing to hide? Well, we know that ain't true. Complain about local use? Let's do that. Let's start off like normal, see if there's anything. Oh, God, look, naked old men again. We'll start off small, see if he confesses at all. Kind of like hint it, you know, see if he takes a hint. But if he doesn't, then, well, he's made up his choice. He deserves to be Dabbed. Right, there's nothing on here but ask about relationships or anything like that. Oh, but he's talking about it. He's talking about love. He's getting on the topic. Nigel, no! No, this is not how it works. Ask if single. Yes, but we're not asking it because we want to do stuff with him. It's asking if he is. And if he says no, then that's when we know he's not telling the truth. Slim is single. That's a lie. He lied. Look, he's sad because he's lying. I knew it. He's a bastard. Look, he's embarrassed. He knows. Right, we're done here, Nigel. Let's head on home. He's made his choice. Slim is going to die! Right, I think our tasks are done for the day. Nigel has proposed to Rhiannon. She said yes. She's moved in. We have another Sim here. But we also learned that Shady, the little bastard, has been flirting with her. And actually doing a lot more than flirting. So we're going to have to do something about that. So in the next episode, Nigel is going to get his hands dirty yet again, I think. We're going to have to. It's the only way... Slim needs to die. Rhiannon isn't going to expect a thing either. It's all going to be secretive. And I know a way. Oh, I know a way. It's going to be fun. But until then, guys, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like and a comment letting me know how we should kill Slim Shady. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.
And goodbye! Ha ha! Ha ha!